Last week, I found something out about Blender, which is a feature called Face Sets. And I have to say thank you so much for Bluxfy, one of my viewers, for bringing this to my attention. I didn't know this existed. Face Sets are temporary selections that can be used in sculpt mode. And that is exactly the feature I needed to fix a bit of a conundrum. Let me show you what I had. This was an outfit that I wanted to do some work on in sculpt mode. I could have used vertex tools for this, but it was I, I just wanted to use sculpt tools. And also I wanted to learn a little bit more about the Blender sculpt mode. And this is the problem. I have, these are the material zones, and we can see that the purple material kind of pushes through the green material. This is, was the Marvelous Designer outfit, and I just wanted to fix it. So what I wanted to do is find a way to grab the purple stuff and push it in or smooth it out without touching the green stuff. And in regular sculpting mode, that wouldn't be possible unless I find a way to mask the purple stuff off. But if you've ever tried, that really is not a very accurate process. Let me show you the traditional way and then how face sets will come to the rescue in fixing this, well, fixing this conundrum. So here is just a regular UV sphere. It doesn't have all that much resolution, but it'll be enough to demonstrate this. I'll head over into sculpt mode. And as you know, you just draw on this thing and you know, you sculpt on the object. That's, that's exactly what we expect. So traditionally, if there's a part of your mesh that you don't want to sculpt on, you can use this thing called the mask brush. And that is a very weird look looking logo. It's this one here. If you can't really make out if you don't want to hover you can hold down shift and space and then you get a text description of all the brushes so this is the mask brush here if i go and draw on my object the area that i'm drawing on turns dark and you can see it's got a very soft outline here and that's that's good in some situations if i go back to my regular draw brush then i can see i can sculpt on anything that isn't masked and the moment i approach the mask the sculpt is being basically just you know feathered off there so it's quite nice um that's that's awesome if i wanted to clear the mask i can use the menu i'm sure there's a shortcut key available as well clear mask here alt m is probably that then i can draw some more but now if i wanted to bring my mask back again, I have to redraw it. And that's a little cumbersome. It's also not really acknowledging the topology. So if I wanted to have a clear line, literally where my topology flows here, if I wanted to not have that super soft edge here, then there's a way to sharpen this, but it's it's very inaccurate. It's not, it's not all that accurate. It's, it always annoyed me in ZBrush and I never really got on with masking. So I don't really use that feature very much, but I know professional sculptors do use this all the time. And so it wasn't really working for me for fixing my outfit. I'm going to go back here to make that a ball again. There we go. And this is where face sets come in. So they can be drawn on as well, just like a mask with this icon next to it. That's the one with the with the several color strokes here. So shift space, that'll bring that menu up again, draw face sets. And that works by Make that a little smaller here. That works by literally drawing onto my mesh and I can see that I literally paint out the polygons here. Now that's very cool. Notice what happens when I go and paint again. So this is now a left click and drag on your object. It paints with a different color. So I let go of the left click and paint again and another color comes out. And these are now technically four face sets that I've drawn here. They're very accurate. They flow with the topologies. It's, it's exactly what I'm kind of looking for. Um, so there are four face sets because whatever I haven't drawn on is also a face set automatically, which is kind of cool. So if I go ahead and draw again on this, nothing seems to have happened. The, the sculpt mode is just like it was before, but that's because the sculpt brush that I'm using doesn't know that I want to use face sets to sculpt with it. So that is this currently the general brush. Each brush remembers these settings individually. So you have to set this on a per brush basis. And you can do that either here, if you're in the sculpt mode, you'll be on your tool thing here already. I prefer to kind of do this with the end panel, but both things work well. On the brush, so minus the draw brush here, on the brush, there's the advanced options. And there we have two tick boxes. One is face sets and one is called face sets boundary. Let me try the first one here. And that means wherever I hover on whichever face set I hover, that's the one that I'll be able to sculpt on. And if I go and approach another one, like the outside here, that's where I can't sculpt on. So no matter where I go, I can only sculpt on the face set that I started sculpting on initially. And if I go and let go 
of the left click essentially and sculpt somewhere else, then that face set will be acknowledged, but I can't sculpt outside of which, which is that's exactly cool. That's perfect. So there's a little bit of a harsh edge here from one to the other, and this is where the face sets boundary comes in. If you wanted to make that a bit smoother, then all you have to do is enable that and increase the value. Let me go and do that. Face set boundaries. One isn't going to do an awful lot but you can see that there's a little a tiny bit of a fall off so we don't have a like a straight edge going up we have it slightly angled so if you make that larger like 20 then the fall off will be a little bit smoother so it'll also help if you have more topology of course if you have more uh, geometry in your object but yeah you can see that this is now a much kind of the, the angle at which this goes into the next face set is going to be much shorter in and out so it also works with um, you know with the Digging this in, of course, you get the picture. So you can also hide face sets. That works with the H key. So if I just wanted to see the, like isolate everything that's purple now, you just hover over that and press H on the keyboard. And then we only have that part of my mesh. And it's so cool because it is it is a mask, but it's not a traditional mask. It's a, like a you know mask 2.0 for web 3.0 and all that. If you wanted to bring this back, you can press W on the keyboard and then you have this little rotation menu. You can either say show all, that'll bring everything back, or you just, you know, hover over the thing you want to show again, press H, then everything else will be hidden. And then you can press W again and say invert visible, and then you hide essentially everything that wasn't selected a minute ago. So that's nice if you need to work on stuff that is otherwise occluded. And, you know, that's, that's you know, that's basically, that's basically how to work with face sets. But the really cool thing is that you can not only draw them, you can also initialize them from existing selections that you may have, like in my case, the material zones. You have options. I say options. It's under the face sets menu up here. And if you go, there's a, tons of things that you can explore here. But the one that I want to bring your attention to is this one here, initialize face sets. You, so you can bring the face sets in from loose parts, from face sets by boundaries, by materials, from normals, by UV seams, edge creases edge bevel weight my goodness sharp edges or face map so materials is exactly what i needed for my endeavor so that's the magic of face sets they have a lot to offer and i just thought i wanted to share this with you so if i go back to my outfit now here it is i need to go and select it so that it gets selected in light orange rather than dark orange and don't ask then we go back into sculpt mode and currently i don't see my material zones because they only show up in the material preview so i don't currently i'm just going to switch back into the viewport preview and then i head over to face sets initialize face sets by materials and lo and behold there they are this is exactly what i wanted so then by that logic I can go and bend the purple stuff in and not touch the white stuff. This is exactly how that works. So I'll hold control down, hover over the purple stuff, and then I just go and ditch this in. And it's probably a little bit too too harsh. Oh yeah, also what I usually do in sculpting is I work with short brush strokes. And as you do that, you will inevitably pick a different face zone if you're not careful. So what I just did here is I literally go and tap the purple tap the purple but if i tap on something that isn't purple like the like the white stuff then i ditch that in because now i sculpt on the white stuff and that is uh, something to be aware of also something else to be aware of if i wanted to smooth the purple stuff out watch what happens if i press shift to pick my smooth brush it looks like I'm smoothing everything. Also not really what I had bargained for. What's going on there then? It's because the smooth brush doesn't know I want to use face sets. Only the draw brush currently acknowledges this. So watch if I switch over to the smooth brush icon here, then I see there's no face sets enabled on that. So if I wanted to use that with my smooth brush as well, then I have to set that. I'm not going to use the boundary here. And then I can go back to my regular brush and now, or into any other brush really. And now if I press shift, then my smoothing only happens, whoops, then my smoothing only happens on the purple stuff. If I actually start on the purple zone here, there we go. So like down here, if I start accidentally on the white, then the white gets smooth and not the purple. That's not what I want. So I need to start on the zone that needs the smoothing. So in my case like that, boom, and we're done. 
and maybe here as well. There's also the red stuff that's kind of underneath the white stuff. So it's good to good to see that if I wanted to work on that, which is a material that's the inside of the, of the kind of vest here, I can just go and hover, press H, then I see only the vest. I press W, invert visible, and there's all the other materials. So I, know, I now see that I need to do some work, more work on the purple stuff that needs to also be smoothed into the inner material here. So that is how that works. I hope you got a lot out of it. I thought it was quite impressive. I've not seen a ZBrush feature like that, and I'm liking the Blender brush features more and more. If only we had bidirectional Dash Studio integration, huh? We can but hope. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other tips and tricks, or if you have any other things that you want to bring to my attention in regards to face sets, please let me know. I'm having lots of fun with it, and I hope you will too. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.